probability independent events now the two events are called independent if the occurrence of one event does not affect the occurrence of other now if you say if if a and b suppose these are independent events so then we can write probability of a intersection b so this will be equals probability of a times the probability of b similarly if we say if suppose there are three events a b and c now see if all these three events are independent of one another then we can write probability of a intersection b intersection c this will be probability of a times the probability of b times the probability of c so that's how we define so now let's take some like you know easy examples so that you can <coughs> understand this by doing some questions okay here is the question one hmm. now a shooter hits the bullseye on an average of two out of every five shots if three arrows are fired at the target determine the probability that the bullseye is hit every time a part a part is every time b b part is the first two times but not the third time okay and c is on no occasion okay so first of all you should understand that that firing the arrows are independent so they are not dependent on each other so these are independent events so let's start with the solution now see what's the probability of hitting the target probability of hitting the target it's saying two out of every five shots so this is 2 by 5. Hmm. So probability of not hitting, take this as P of H dash. So that, will, that is obvious this will be 3 by 5. Now, A part, every time. <clears throat> so it's saying every time. So that means probability of we are going to find all three hits. So all three hits is, you can write this probability of H intersection H intersection H as just now in the above we have uh, uh, seen the formula so this will be how you will write this probability of H intersection sorry sorry for this probability of H this is times probability of H because all are hits and these all are independent events so we, we are using the formula so what's the probability of it is 2 by 5 so that's 2 by 5 times 2 by 5 times 2 by 5 which is 8 by 125 okay easy now the b part what's the b part is the first two times <clears throat> but not the third time so this is the probability of two hits and then he misses and then he misses okay the so probability of two hits and two miss this will be probability of two hits h intersection h intersection h dash or h complement Using the formula, probability of hit times probability of hit times probability of he misses it. So this is we know that we know all the values. This is two by five. This is two by five. And you know this probability of h dash. This one is three by five. So I'm writing here into three by five. Okay. So multiplying this, this is twelve by one twenty five. So of hitting two hits. And then I missed. Now third one is what's the third one? On C part is on no occasions. Okay, so basically he is missing all the shots. So probability of all misses. So that's again easy. You know the formula now. Probability of H dash intersection H dash intersection H dash. So this will be <coughs> probability of H dash times probability of h dash times probability of h dash or complement substituting the values so probability of h dash was 3 by 5 3 by 5 times 3 by 5 times 3 by 5 so this is what this is 27 by 125 so that's our answer okay now let's move on to the next example okay so example 2 is over here yeah as you can see Two baskets each contain five red apples and two green apples. So there are two baskets. Okay, they each have five red apples and two green apples. Peter chooses an apple at random from each basket. Now see, <clears throat> when a Peter is choosing 
the apple from two different baskets so these are independent events because the choice of any ball like red sorry of any apple like five or sorry the the red apples or the green apples that does not depends on the other basket okay now let's do the question draw a tree diagram to illustrate the possible events okay so first part is to draw a tree diagram so i think that will be more convenient so see for the first ball so from the first ball you you oh my god so from the first basket sorry for that from the first basket okay there are five red and two green apples two green apples so the probability of getting red apples will be five by seven and uh, probability mm -hmm, sorry for this again hmm. and the probability of <coughs> getting a green ball or green ball green ball this will be two by seven now see when he's taking out when he's taking out the the ball from uh, the other basket so that is independent event because that is that's the second basket so for the second basket basket what's the probability of a red apple that is again five by seven because it contains fives for the green this is again two by seven okay again from the second basket red will be five by seven and the screen is two by seven so remember these are independent events now b part is find the probability that peter chooses two red apples so see b part you can you can do directly from the tree diagram see they are saying two red apples okay so two red apples means five by seven into five by seven so this will be five by seven into five by seven that is 25 by 49 okay so b part is complete now b first part is complete sorry second part is now see one red one red and one green apple okay so i think the spelling is wrong this is red and one green apple okay so one red and one green so that means they, see there could be first red and second green so for this first red second green so this is this will be 5 by 7 into 2 by 7 and also we will consider the case in which there is first green and second red so this will be 2 by 7 into 5 by 7 okay now solving this this is 5 to the 10 this is 49 plus 10 by 49 you take the lcm 49 by 20 so that's the answer so that's easy i hope student you understood this and we will i'll see you again in my, my upcoming videos and also thanks for watching